Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud and I'm your host Harsh Agrawal. Well, in this video I'm going to talk about the caching feature of Bluehost. So, many of you know who are already using WordPress that using a caching WordPress plugin is very important. There are few impo- uh, very popular caching plugin like WP Super Cache, WP3 Total Cache is out there. Now personally I'm a huge fan of WP Super Cache plugin because for a beginners it's actually very easy to configure WP Super Cache. Now the problem which most of the web hosting company face with the, the caching plugin is to integrate it properly, you know like maybe there may be certain kind of feature which does not integrate properly and then users like us face a lot of issues. Now this is where Bluehost has taken a new step and they have integrated caching within the server which is a great thing and uh, personally i'm a huge fan of this new feature because that's something we have seen in the past with siteground and it worked flawlessly so in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure caching with bluehost hosting and how to also purge all your caches just in case if you are making some changes and you don't see those changes on your website you need to flush or purge your cache I will show you how to do that. So the very first thing you need to do is log into your Bluehost dashboard. Now this is how the new dashboard looks like. Click on my sites and then click on manage site. Now here you will be seeing list of all the website that you have. Now in this case let's click on manage site. Now the place where you need to go you need to go to performance and this is where you can configure the caching option. Now Bluehost offers you multiple caching option. You can cache assets only you can enable the normal caching which is what they recommend they also enable advanced caching or aggressive caching now one thing which i really feel that they should have added is a description over here that which caching does what which is not here let me see if i can find something about this all right so i could not find much about what different caching does but as per my understanding depending on the kind of website that you run you should enable the caching accordingly for example if you are running a static website where you don't need to you know like let's say you build up a website using wordpress and you don't need to flush cache when you are publishing an because you're not publishing a new blog post often you can enable the advanced or aggressive caching uh, this is also useful when you are getting a lot of traffic and your server is kind of hammered with the load you can enable the aggressive caching otherwise in usual case normal caching is what works best so let's say i've enabled normal caching and your caching is working now you want to flush the cache so to do that log into your wordpress panel now you can click on log into wordpress directly from the bluehost dashboard you can click from here or you can click from here and it will log into wordpress dashboard now here you can disable the cache you can click here and then click on purge all now that will flush all the cache now here's one more thing let's say if you want to change your caching level you can click on caching you can click on cache settings and here you can define the cache level so you don't really need to log into bluehost dashboard to enable this feature which is i think very handy and they are calling it endurance cache i believe they are going to implement the same on all the endurance level website probably let's see how it goes in the days to come and well pretty much that's it so i really welcome this new feature and i'm very happy that one of my favorite web hosting bluehost is adding a lot of feature especially a lot of users from shout me loud has reached out to me and thanked me for recommending bluehost because they find it very easy to start using wordpress on bluehost and also it offers free domain and free ssl certificate so which makes bluehost one of the top wordpress web hosting and with that uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new about caching on wordpress and on bluehost if you have any other question feel free to ask me i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh